After becoming the king of late night, Greg Gutfeld finally decided to take a day off. <laughs> so, he asked the second funniest person at Fox to fill in for him. But Kilmeade said he wasn't available, <laughs> so you're stuck with me. My deepest condolences go out to you, the audience. You thought you were getting Gutfeld. Instead, you're getting someone taller, <laughs> better looking, and someone who didn't get fired from a ton of magazines. <laughs> you got Waters instead. This is like... <laughs> it's like buying tickets to see Jerry Seinfeld and Carrot Top takes the stage. <laughs> now, I give you your money back, but I found out Gutfeld doesn't charge anybody to come see the show, <laughs> which makes sense. <laughs> but there's a silver lining. Unlike a normal show, none of tonight's jokes will go over your head. That I promise you. It's me. And it's an honor to step into Greg's shoes today, even though it kind of hurts, <laughs> because he's a size six. <laughs> Greg's been on a hot streak recently, so he needs a break. A number one bestseller, a new house, a baby boy. Wait, that's me. <laughs> You'd think Greg would want a baby. Finally, someone in his life who's shorter than he is. <laughs> also, someone to laugh at his poop jokes. <laughs> Greg has a strange sense of humor, doesn't he? It's almost like there's something beneath the surface that he wants to tell us. Here are my latest candidates for my personal assistant. This is Hans. <laughs> this is Lars. And this is Clive. Hey, I hope you all had a good weekend. Mine wasn't so bad. I spent most of it working on my abs with my personal trainer. I'm the one on the bottom <laughs> for a change. Well, I work out, but I don't use weights. I use the body weight of my workout partner. I have him straddle me on my back, and then I do squat thrusts. <laughs> you want to you wanna go work out? Oh, I, I don't have my workout clothes. You won't need any. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> People say that Greg's masking his feminine instincts by constantly talking about guns, ribs, and death metal. And by people, I mean me. <laughs> now, our sources think Greg took off today because he's transitioning. <laughs> to what exactly? Unclear. <laughs> but a new symbol has been added to the acronym LGBTQ, it's now LGBTQ exclamation. <laughs> Greg's probably at a gender reveal party tonight. His own. <laughs> All kidding aside, the real reason Greg isn't here today is because it's his birthday. <laughs> Besides 30-year-old women and anyone in the Biden administration during a crisis, who takes off on their birthday? <laughs> Greg does, apparently. Yet, much like Sleepy Joe, Greg's changed his position. We'd like to wish our executive producer, Megan Albano, a very happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh. I'm the one that delivered that news because I am her favorite host. Is that... <laughs> Wait a minute, is that why she's not here today? Did she take today off because it's her birthday? You know how I feel about that. <laughs> so... Besides flip-flopping, Greg and Joe Biden have so much in common. Their love for Hunter. Their advanced age. Actually, Biden looks a little younger than Greg in that. And, of course, the thing they have most in common, hair plugs. <laughs> Would someone secure about their hair obsess over someone else's hair this much? Jesse Waters has saved thousands of lives just by the amount of hairspray he uses every day. <laughs> Maybe that's how he saved the world. His hair is like an extension cord, thick, dark, and full of plugs. Congrats on the book. It's going to buy you a lot of hair gel. Or Jesse Waters condemning hair gel. Jesse's hair, enough product to keep Jesse Waters' hair standing on end for eternity. So, just like Joe, Greg called a lid today. 
And I want to be as respectful to Greg as possible while I sit in his chair. Wait. What is this? <laughs> oh, it's a stack of papers. What's this stack of papers doing here? <laughs> but I really wanted to pay homage to Greg tonight. I even wanted to dress like him. So I peeked in his closet just to get a little inspiration. Filling in for Gutfeld tonight. Got to dress the part. Let's see what he's got in his closet. Pretty nice. <laughs> Dark pants, slim fit. <laughs> I'm almost there. Blue blazer, white shirt. I just got to get the black tie. Oh, these are perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. This segment was brought to you by Baby Gap. <laughs> and they say imitation is the highest form of flattery. I'm trying to look and act as much like Greg as possible. So after the show, I'm going to go drink wine alone <laughs> and text Dana. <laughs> I also searched his desk to find some of his famous notes to use on the show. But they were all love letters to Kat. <laughs> Kat, seriously, contact HR immediately. This guy is sick. I wrote those about myself. OK. Trying to work on my self-esteem. It's Iris. He couldn't make it here tonight. I'm sorry. But a source just sent us some very exclusive footage Here's what Tyrus is up to right now. 25 grand in the first <laughs> and now the bulls are. Come on, let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I love Greg like I love my assistant. That much. Gigi's the man, funniest guy I know. I don't really know that many people, but it's a compliment. Exclamation point is a huge hit. He's a prolific author, great co-host. And did you guys hear? He just interviewed Donald Trump. Way to go, Gutfeld. Quite the achievement. You are the last Fox host to interview Trump. <laughs> In fact, Greg, Greg might be the last host in America to interview Donald Trump. <laughs> Greg didn't even like Trump when he was running for president. And then I remember that Greg didn't even like me before I started hosting <laughs> The Five. Just another thing he has in common with Biden. Terrible instincts. <laughs> Greg didn't think the coronavirus was going to be that big of a deal. Actually, that was me. <laughs> In all honesty, Greg saw it coming, which is something nobody has ever said about Greg. You know, because he's little. <laughs> you can hardly see him. Greg is so tiny, Brian Stelter gave him a nickname, the Invisible Enemy. <laughs> but as your doctor told you, Gutfeld, size doesn't matter. It's what you do with it that counts. And you've done a lot, more than any of us. Mostly because you're so old, you've had more time to do stuff. But also because you're such a hard worker. And as they say, when you don't have talent, you have to make up for it with hard work. So way to go, buddy. Give it your best. And when your best isn't good enough, just do what I do. Add a movie clip to make it funnier kind of a big deal. <laughs> now that's comedy. <laughs> Stealing other people's material. <laughs> kind of like what Greg does with Scott Adams. <laughs> Speaking of comedy, not everything is funny, Gutfeld. Know your audience. Your cackle kind of reminds me of Kamala. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it really turned out that way. <laughs> this show's... Uh, stay in that vase so hard. Yes. It would be a good idea, and you're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I've heard. Greg, this is really weird, Hey, so let's move on. 
<laughs> you know, let's start with the positives. Okay. Really interesting question, out of the box idea. <laughs> I want to talk about Simon and Schuster first. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to keep. Night. Yeah, it's on assignment. Oh, boy, God. <laughs> Read the room, dude. <laughs> Covering up your insecurities with comedy is what stand up comedians do. That's not you. You know, you don't do stand up because you have something that stand up comedians don't have notes and a teleprompter. <laughs> So happy birthday, Greg. I know you're watching because you have nothing else to do. <laughs> and I was as mean as possible just so you'll never ask me to host again. Period. Let's welcome our guest tonight. She's posed for more pictures. With her guns out and Sylvester Stallone, tallandhowl.com editor, Fox News contributor Katie Pavlik. And he'll be the mayor to have a special task force comprised of rescue cats. New York City Republican mayoral candidate Curtis Sliwa. Poison Control recommends his jokes to induce vomiting. Writer and comedian Joe Macchi. She's the one cat even the ASPCA won't shelter. <laughs> Fox News contributor Cat Tim. All right, Cat. Now, unlike Greg, I actually wrote that monologue myself. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about Gutfeld taking a day off? You know, Greg is really, really good at um, finding talent. <laughs> Did people to work for him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Like me, I'm very funny and smart, right? I'm not just a pretty face. Um, <laughs> and then you. Joe Mackey, <laughs> who is so funny that <laughs> last night at Gutfeld's birthday party, for about an hour, I had to hear my husband try to convince him to go to Sandals Resorts <laughs> with them two alone. Oh. Wow. That's how funny Joe Mackey is. convincing. <laughs> no. It was my idea. It was <laughs> OK. So Joe, um, now you're going to have to carry the rest of the show, because I'm all out of jokes. Well, I thought you did a great job. I mean, you killed it on that monologue, right? I mean, it was. <laughs> I, I mean, I've been working for Greg for six months now, and I think you're the funnier of the two. But... <laughs> But Greg is, uh, he's my boss. He's in charge of how much I get paid. And I just wanted to give him a heartfelt message on his birthday that just ex off the cuff here. <laughs> Greg Gutfeld is a handsome, daring leader that will shepherd America to victory in the fight against communism. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. Because oh. he is also my boss. <laughs> Now, I don't have to kiss his ass, because he's not my boss. <laughs> <laughs> now, Curtis, speaking of communism, you're fighting against it, running for mayor here in New York. <laughs> you were mentioning to me in the green room that you were really glad Gutfeld wasn't here and I was hosting, because that could hurt your campaign, so you're welcome. Mm. Uh, Jesse, Jesse, we, we never had that conversation. <laughs> 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 you have a very elaborate imagination. Yes, I do. We did not have that conversation. That's true. I just lied. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I'm, I'm getting the feel of the show. Now all you got to do <laughs> is shake hands, kiss a baby, and you too can be a politician. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. I couldn't take the pay cut. <laughs> Katie P, does Greg make you nervous? Uh, sometimes, yes, because I'm always trying to manage Greg's complaints, and my number one goal in life is to have him not complain about me. So I like when he complains about you instead. That's true. Which is all the time. Greg complains about everything, and I'm sure he's going to be complaining about this show. <laughs> um, Kat, anything you want to say to Gutfeld? Because as I said, he doesn't have anything else going on. He I is know. watching right now. But the thing is, is I have the exact same focus in life as Katie. Yeah. <laughs> We're all worried about the it. The less that he complains, the better. So. Uh, happy birthday, Greg. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. Happy. 60th birthday, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Not that far off. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.